So we're still at the uh, the lake, and this is going to be a video on capturing the the last of the, uh, the evening sun. So still at the lake, and the sun is going down, and I've still got a bit of sunlight. So hopefully I can capture something on this uh, on the, the the bank of the the lake. The important thing on this one is tonal contrast, so I need to go nice and light with the sky and the water because it's going to need the dark of the trees against the, the light of the water. So I can almost just have white paper with just a bit of dry brush for the water. bit of warmth across it and I'm actually just going to dab that with a tissue just to make sure it's dry and then we've got these distant hills which again need to be light in tone so they still allow for the trees to be seen And go a little bit darker along the base. Create a little bit of softness there. Again, I shall need to just dab it off a little bit because it will never dry in time. So, nice and strong. In the foreground here where the sun is hitting the ground. Now we can start to put some of these trees in. And the paper's damp here a little bit, so I don't mind if we're going to get a little bit of softness. I can use my the Skoda Ultima sword brush, I think it was, it was called, to uh, give myself some marks here, which could be bits of grass, etc. vary the brush to uh, depending on the mark that I'm needing. But, uh, just an ordinary round on its side is fairly useful. Yeah. So, so just a few branches. A few bits of longer bits of grass sticking up. Before this dries, let's get those nice long shadows in. Oh, 
All right, and now we can start to uh, work on these trees. Hopefully this is dry. Nice and dark. Branches coming off in various directions. This is just some leaves. And I learned a few things on the similar scene I did near the beach that I thought I could improve on this scene or make a better go of this one. It's just put a little bit of light that's been caught on those. To get all this done before the base dries. Trees look believable. Some more branches in while the, the trunk is wet. So it all connects. And I'm going to leave this area here fairly clear for the eye to, to look in, for the eye to, to try to focus on, that's my focal point here. A bit more of that light. Just lift a little bit of light off the side of these trunks. Looks like there's uh, sunlight coming through. Always helps to take the tape off and see it as a finished painting. A short little sketch, but quite effective I think. So again thank you for joining me on this demonstration. That's I think I've achieved what I set out to do to um, capture the light behind these trees and the uh, shadows coming across. Obviously the sun's pretty much gone now, so uh, the scene what was there is no longer there. So I had to kind of remember the scene as I, st as I, as I start to paint, to not to chase the light and move my shadows, to stick to the plan that I had, and that tends to work best. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And um, I think that's probably it for the, the lake, and we'll see you on the next one.